then he said no 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 we have to give fine and i said okay fine i said uh, please i was like another one more time i was like begging him please don't do fine i don't have any small space there was a office in in lamer so all the colleagues went to lamer and then, so i was all on the way there so they were already there and they were like come oh, where are you come make it come fast so when I, i was going to lamer went to the parking full then when there i took a u turn and came so in front of uh, nissan sunny was going very slow um, and it's, it's that next to the parking you have that two way road small road and there's humps also So I'm also going slowly, slowly, and these guys are calling and telling to come fast and looking for parking. And this, he has space in front; he's not going. I was really frustrated. I took the car, overtook, and I was finishing the overtake. The police car is coming. He put the lights on. Pay, pay, pay. I said, "Oh God! Already I have impound and everything is there, outstanding. Now 23 black points for that. Yeah, impound fine, and 23 black points. One more black point, license is gone. You know." So like, oh God, now this is the last thing I had to face. Then he said, "Come, come." Then he said, "What is this you driving? You are going overtaking this small road? This all the house is there, uh, the residence is there, and you are going race here?" He said, "No, no, sir. So I don't want to lie to you. My uh, colleagues are there. We are having office dinner. They already I am late. They are calling me. So that urgency only. I I was want to go soon to the parking to park. No, no, no. This you can't do." This we have to find you. Uh, One thousand fine, twelve black points. I said already I have so much fine, and uh, you know black points also there. Where will I go now? I'm very sorry, and I will not do. Then there was another the guy, the second police. Said, This guy is put. He has put exhaust and supercharger. The supercharger. I said supercharger exhaust is you know normal exhaust, and it is passed by RPA when I do the renewal. There is no supercharger. You check the engine. You try open the hood and see. There is no supercharger. No, 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 no. The sound all come. I said sound is normal exhaust. Then he said no, no, no. We have to give fine. And I said okay, fine. I said uh, please. I was like another one more time. I was like begging him, please don't do fine. I don't have any small space. He came and gave the license to me. No fine. Yalla, go, go. I said no fine. Thank you very much, sir. Happy be. And I ran away from there to the parking and I came back to and I met my colleagues. Yeah. So one thing for Dubai police, if you have done a mistake. If they accept it, uh, surrender to them, and you know they are they are very good in that case. They will try to help you. Uh, people of the car community, each person is different. You know, have, everyone. So one thing is, everyone talks the same language. Everyone has the same passion, and you know, uh, so it's easy to blend. And you know, we have the same passion and work focus here. But you know, there there are certain people, and everyone is passionate about their own car. There are controversies with JDM, Germany, American, even in American Camaro, with the Challenger and Mustang, and you know same thing like in Mercedes, BMW, Audi. Uh, likewise in the JDM as well, Toyota, Lexus, Nissan, Honda. So, so that is how the you know the setup is. Uh, but end of the day, whatever we talk, whatever we do, you know, we, uh, you know, but. Passion and the focus is the same, and yeah. So, so some people who drive the high-end cars ha has different attitude. But sometimes, even though they drive those attitudes, is not much of a difference as well. But end of the day, um, you know, everyone follows the same passion, uh, and um, whatever happens at that point remains there, and then we move on. So I've done. I uh, changed the exhaust. So I put the Gorilla exhaust on the MK1. Uh, initially, he put an exhaust um, that stayed pipe. It was too loud from a car which is quiet to be loud. And then I got it changed to the exhaust uh, Gorilla exhaust, and it's okay now for me. Uh, apart from that, uh, I recently did a cosmetic upgrade, sort of a facelift. I changed the front bumper and then uh, add a lip. And the side skirting, and the uh, 20-inch wheels. I always want. I was eyeing these wheels for a long time, you know. And then uh, finally, I got these wheels. I went around all over the place finding for it. Uh, ultimately, found it in a place in Saja, uh, which was 
uh, 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 second hand used used uh, rings but it was in very good shape and you know the original ones so, uh, 20 inch niche, niche uh, brand uh, wheels so that is the upgrades i have done otherwise but otherwise the car is pretty much stock yeah i mean people who like us who knows in and out of, of the fashion which is grown in us who we lived with for uh, cars with engines with fuel and you know uh, so you we can see the transformation from uh, manual gear box to uh, automatic you know we still love even now today okay with the dubai traffic we okay with the drive the automatic gearbox but any point of time we get to use the manual gearbox you know you know you know how you are in control of the car you know, by which gear to shift and then that we are do, at least doing in the triptronic in today's time same thing applies to the you know the, uh, uh, yeah, the electronic or the hybrid uh, version of the cars coming up in so people are now with looking into low cost, uh, high uh, efficiency and so on, that, in, that is a focus in the future and uh, in the environmental healthy and so on. But you will never get that amount of fun or that, uh, you know, that uh, response from the car that we, what is there in the fuel, you know, you see the Tesla, it could be fast, but can you hear it? It's like you're sleeping and driving and you're going, probably take a flight and go uh, on the air, you know? but where is that feeling, where is the sound, you know, uh, yeah, okay, leave the sound out. So, so the fuel, or any time, all time period is fuel, but with the current trend, which uh, the, uh, the, what do you call, the hybrid version coming up in the current market, I think we will have to live with it, like how Corona has come now today and we had, we, Cover the phase one, and then now today we are leaving with Mars. Probably the same concept will be with these uh, Teslas and uh, uh, the Toyota uh, Prius and so on. So I don't think we can avoid it, but uh, we have to live with it. But whether we are going to live with it or not is each person's choice. <laughs> have a second car and keep that fuel, and you know, like how you have the Skyline and enjoying it. You know, same thing. Yeah. So I feel we can't avoid it, but then. We will leave it. Maybe one more. Sorry? Maybe one more. Um, if there is a situation that we have to own one, now, I don't know whether it will come in a government rule, a regulatory rule that you have to own a car or the car has to be a hybrid. Then I, we don't have a choice, right? But otherwise, no way. <laughs>